Hi friends, welcome to SK Nursing Knowledge. Today we are discussing OBG multi choice questions. Let's start the questions. The first question Which of the following stages of labor does crowning occur? Option A first stage, Option B second stage, Option C third stage, Option D fourth stage. The correct answer is option B second stage. During the second stage of labor, the baby will deliver. The next question What is the normal duration of the first stage of labor in primary gravida? Option A 6 to 8 hours, Option B 8 to 12 hours, Option C 10 to 16 hours, Option D 12 to 18 hours. The correct answer is option d 12 to 18 hours according to the contraction the duration will be changed the next question which of the following drug contraindication for pregnant women option a oxytocin option b heparin option c tetracycline option d doxycycline The correct answer is option C, tetracycline. The next question, which week of gestation the gender determination can be done? Option A, 6 to 10 weeks. Option B, 10 to 14 weeks. Option C, 12 to 16 weeks. Option D, 18 to 20 weeks. The correct answer is option D. 18 to 20 weeks. The next question. Chorionic villus sampling is recommended to be performed during which week of gestation? Option A. 6 to 8 weeks. Option B. 10 to 12 weeks. Option C. 14 to 16 weeks. Option D. 18 to 20 weeks. The correct answer is option B, 10 to 12 weeks. The next question, at which week of the pregnancy does quickening occur? Option A, 10 to 14 weeks. Option B, 14 to 16 weeks. Option C, 16 to 18 weeks. Option D, 16 to 20 weeks. The correct answer is option D 16 to 20 weeks. The next question At which week of the pregnancy the gestational sac can be seen in ultrasound? Option A 3 to 4 weeks, Option B 4 to 5 weeks, Option C 5 to 6 weeks, Option D 6 to 8 weeks. The correct answer is Option B. 4 to 5 weeks. The next question Which hormone is responsible for maintaining the pregnancy? Option A Estrogen, Option B Progesterone, Option C Androgen, Option D Testosterone. The correct answer is Option B progesterone the next question during the first two months of pregnancy what is the chief source of estrogen and progesterone option a corpus luteum option b placenta option c fetal tissue option d ovaries the correct answer is option A, Carpus Luteum. The next question, what is the chief source of estrogen in the third trimester of pregnancy? Option A, Carpus Luteum. Option B, Placenta. Option C, Fetal Tissue. Option D, Ovaries. The correct answer is option B, placenta. The 
the next question what is the average submento vertical diameter of the fetal skull option a 8.5 cm option b 9.5 cm option c 10.5 cm option d 11.5 cm the correct answer is option b 9.5 cm the next question what does the ischial tuberosity helps with during pregnancy option a it supports the baby while standing option b it supports the baby while walking option c it supports the baby while sitting option d it supported during labor the correct answer is option c it supports the baby while sitting the next question how many pairs of chromosomes present in the human body option a 20 pairs option b 22 pairs option c 23 pairs option d 24 pairs the correct answer is option c 23 pairs the next question when does the implantation occur during the pregnancy option a 1 to 3rd day after fertilization option b 6 to 10th day after fertilization option c 12 to 16th day after fertilization option d immediate after fertilization the correct answer is option b 6 to 10th day after fertilization the next question where is the corpus luteum found in the female reproductive system option a fallopian tube option b uterus option c ovary option d cervix the correct answer is option c ovary The next question, where does the fertilized ovum takes place in the female body? Option A, oviduct. Option B, uterus. Option C, cervix. Option D, ovary. The correct answer, option A, oviduct. The next question, at which week of gestation, the breast tissue begins to develop in the fetus? Option A, 4th week. Option B, 8th week. Option C, 10th week. Option D, 14th week. The correct answer, option A, 4th week. The next question after the conception the endometrium is called as option a chorea option b myometrium option c placenta option d decidua the correct answer is option d decidua The next question, how many arteries and veins are present in the human placenta? Option A, one vein and two arteries. Option B, two veins and one artery. Option C, two arteries and one vein. Option D, one artery and two veins. The correct answer is option C, two arteries and one vein.
द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ ए एफ ए स्कैन ऑप्शन ए एमियोटिक फ्लूड इंडेक्स स्कैन ऑप्शन बी एमियोटिक फीटल इंडेक्स स्कैन ऑप्शन सी एमियोटिक फ्लूड इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑप्शन डी एमियोटिक फ्लूड इमेजिंग द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ए एमियोटिक फ्लूड इंडेक्स स्कैन The next question: What is the normal range of amniotic fluid index at birth? Option A, 8 to 10. Option B, 6 to 14. Option C, 8 to 20. Option D, 10 to 16. The correct answer is option C, 8 to 20 centimeters. The next question: What is the fluid volume indicating the oligohydramnios? Option A: More than five centimeters. Option B: Less than five centimeters. Option C: Between five and ten centimeters. Option D: Less than eight centimeters. The correct answer is option B: Less than five centimeters. Thanks for watching please like comment share and subscribe